Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the FTP feature of our Visual Studio Code extension so you can transfer files from your computer straight onto your machine without having to use a third party client or God forbid using a USB drive and walking over there. So it's super simple, um, we've got our files here and our normal extension view where we can see all the operations and all that good stuff. And there's another tab here called the FTP client. So you open that up, again you've got your local files and then we can see we don't have any machines set up. You can add as many machines to this as you want. So we're just going to start with one and hit add your first machine. We're going to give it a name. We're going to tell uh, the extension the IP of that machine and then the login credentials. So from there we've got it right here on the machine selector and we can see all the files that are on this machine right now. So we can see we like to do one folder per job, keeps everything nice and organized in names. So we've got our files here. We want a new job there. We're going to hit add folder. We'll just call this 01 test. Pretty simple. It's going to create that folder out here. and You can see there's nothing in it. We're just going to select these two files, drag it right onto the machine. It's going to transfer those files and then you'll see pretty quickly now these files are on your CNC machine so you can run them. You can also download files from your machine. Let's say we have this job right here and we want to uh, view the G code or edit it. We can preview it by double clicking. And if we want to edit it we can just pull it down right back to our local computer here and now we've got it for whatever editing we need to do. So it's pretty simple. Worth noting, you can add as many machines as you want to this, and then you just click between them to change which machine you're connected to, sync your files, and then you're ready to run. If you have any questions, of course, reach out to us, uh, support at chatter.dev, join our Discord, or look at our support documentation online. Thanks for watching.